guest tonight is a terrific actor. He stars in Dexter. The season premieres this Sunday on the Showtime Network. Take a look at this. You know what this tells you that the folks love a serial killer. Oh yeah. Yeah. They do. It's 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 very uh, it's a very big hit this show. The, the the like the folks just I mean it's the comedy about the guy that kills people. It, yeah, I yeah. mean as you can see from that clip, it's a laugh riot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, that, I mean it has its comic elements, but I think you know that it gives audience permission to identify with him because he's arguably justifiable in what he's doing. I mean, wow, come on, he's, he's still killing, killing. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not metaphorically getting rid of the enemy. It's getting rid of the enemy. I mean, yeah. what's the body count for for Dexter now? Um, I, in terms of what we've seen on screen, it's probably in the like around 50. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it really does put the lotion in the basket, doesn't it? <laughs> Did you, did you, I, I was fascinated with this world for a while, I read up, did you do a lot of studying about it? Yeah, a bit, I mean, some of the most useful stuff was books by, like, the FBI profilers. But Robert Ressler, did you read uh, his book? Yeah, I'm familiar with that right. one. It was actually Mindhunter that really... really what one's that? Uh, it's uh, it's um, by uh, FBI profiler. I just imagine that uh, Dexter himself would have familiarized himself with some of this stuff and yeah. attempt not to fit certain profiles. Right, they're, they're like, because psychopaths try to fit in by appearing like normal people, right. so they learn what normal... Like we're both doing right now. Right, exactly so. <laughs> Sometimes, though, I can't contain my scary psychopathic nature. For I example, <laughs> see, you want to you want to put some of that music in Dexter right there. That'd be yeah. good. Yeah. Well, I usually the the ear that's not on camera. I have soundtrack coming just to put me in the mood. <laughs> You've played some very interesting roles, though. I mean, I remember yeah. you in uh, Six Feet Under. You were sure. under some very graphic uh, behavior in that. Uh, I did all my own stunts. Well, and that there was. I remember one particular scene in a parking lot. I was like, "Good for you." Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, David and the, uh, yeah, the male yeah, prostitute, yeah, and right, as, like, he, right like, as he got there, the <laughs> police lights hit his yeah, face. Yeah, I remember, no, I remember it, it seared into my memory, yeah. I'm, like, I'm like... And my mother's. Yeah, yeah, but I was like, well, this is not CBS, as I recall. No, no. No, that was, uh, that was on the HBO, wasn't it? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. not even TV, it's HBO. That's right, it's not even TV. <laughs> Do you find that people uh, are, are a little nervous around you because you're su you play such a convincing, uh, odd person? Or are they good at uh, kind of... Well, I mean, the, the people who are really nervous probably don't even approach me, but right. I'm actually more taken with how much seem that people seem to have a, an affection for, for the character. It's just like... Really? I love Dexter. He's the best. <laughs> you know, just... He's like, so clean. He yeah. never leaves evidence anywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and his apartment is so tidy. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I mean... Does it freak with you? I mean, like, because you're, you're doing Probably. a lot of graphic acting. Doesn't it mess with your head a little bit? I think bit? so. Yeah. I think... <laughs> I think I think um, I'll only appreciate just how much it's messed with my head when we finish. Yeah. And uh, you know my brain starts to like flush, flush it out of my system, and I'll probably start having even weirder dreams then. Yeah. Then you want to you want to move on to something else. Then I'm thinking maybe Sesame Street or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, something completely different. Get a flush it out of your system, like you yeah, say. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to. Yeah. Talk to puppets for a living. <laughs> I've seen this one. Oh, that one, yeah. The yeah, this one's got, on that one, yeah. he's got wires and stuff. Yeah, inside. yeah. He's, oh, uh, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we should, we should try him with the scary music. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, I, actually, good. you know what? Give me these back. Okay, yeah. thank you. I'm going to put them in the show. They'll be awesome. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't say something about... Something sharper. <laughs> that, uh, Equipment? I was imagining you throwing knives at me. Oh, no, no, no. My serial killer days are long behind me. Right. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, I did become... I was very interested in it for a while. I think I wanted to write something about... I think every writer, uh, and I'm not really, but, but they all kind of go through a phase of wanting to write about serial killers. Mm -hmm. You must get a lot of film students saying, I've written a script about a serial killer. You'd be great for it. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Like, people send me things, and within page one, I'm killing someone. <laughs> yeah. Really? Do you think... Would you, I don't think of you, but I, I sit here and look at you. You don't seem particularly scary to me, but, uh, of course, that's maybe the trick. Well, I mean, I think you have to... Dexter has to be believably affable, and people right. don't suspect... Have you ever met a serial killer? killer? Did you ever go... Uh... Not to my knowledge, <laughs> but... But, I mean, you didn't go and pay a visit to one of those guys in the kind of, like... No, no, I didn't do, I didn't you know. do any... any uh, I read transcripts of interviews, but I didn't conduct... No, them. no, I think that's probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was, honestly, I was afraid I would get too freaked out to do it. Yeah, I, no, I can understand that. Where are you? Where are you from originally? North Carolina. Ah, uh, see, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. It all makes sense now. Yeah. No, no, that's nice. Where, where about is North Carolina? Uh, Raleigh, for the most part. I Capital Raleigh. city. Sure. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Both my parents are from a small town in eastern North Carolina, Plymouth. I still have a lot of family back there. Do you guys have a little place there? Uh, at this point, no. But uh, get a little place. Go swimming. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, you have a place there, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. You should come by sometime. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Love to have you for dinner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Piercing. Yeah, uh, he's, he's uh, scary. What's that coming, Michael? Uh, <laughs> listen, um, uh, we're out of time, so uh, we've been fruit shopping. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> fancy any of these? Um, Pepino. Yeah, that's my Italian stripper name. Oh, yeah? What's her last name? No, I'm the stripper. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, well, I'm, when I meant her, I meant you, but when Oh, you're in her. character? Yeah. No, I strip as a man. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Pepino. Uh, gentlemen, please welcome Pepino. <laughs> He's got a surprise for you. Yeah. Black yeah. velvet. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, you want to hold these? Kiwis? Yeah, sure. sure. Thank you. Sophisticated. talented actor. His new film, Kill Your Darlings, is in theaters tomorrow. Take a look at this. Oh. Michael C. Hall, everybody. Michael C. Hall. Hey, Michael. Hey. Hey, Michael. Hey, first of all, Congratulations on getting to the end of Dexter, and you're still here, and you're no a uh, brutal killer. They're not doing any more episodes? Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> I'm sorry to inform you that Showtime, it was Showtime, wasn't it? I had to find out somewhere. No, yeah. thank you. I appreciate that. No, that was a hell of a run. Yeah, eight fantastic. years. Eight years of killing. Yeah. Yeah. And then before that, it was the uh, Six Feet Under. That was... Yeah, a... I was getting bodies after they were already dead on that one. Yeah. That was... Uh, and also, there was, a, there was some... Right. Yeah. And Stunt now, work. um... Stunt work. It, we, what's, the, uh, what's the film about? Kill Your Darlings is uh, based on a true story uh, about a guy who was murdered in Riverside Park. I tell it that way because I'm the guy who was murdered. Oh, you, so you're not the murderer? Uh, no. I, I turned the tables yeah. on myself. But there's a homosexual element, too, to this. It's, a, it's sort of a mashup of Six Feet Under and Dexter. There's, there's right. murder and, and uh, gay themes. <laughs> No, it's about, it's actually about... I'm uh, in, I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, 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 I should stop while I'm yeah. ahead. No, the, the formative years of the Beat Generation, Allen Ginsberg, Burroughs, Kerouac. I don't know Kerouac. much about uh, Ginsberg or, or... Yeah, well, he was a freshman at Columbia University right. in, the, in the early 40s, and that's where he met uh, Jack Kerouac, William S. Burroughs. This is before any of them had put pen to paper. It's, or, and, and, and before this, drugs, or were they already into drugs? Uh, uh, I, think, I think Ginsberg, around that time, discovered maybe speed and pot, right. uh, and, and I can't Burroughs imagine. was already... Yeah, he was off already, and running. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, he, he wasn't. He, he wasn't was like, sort of that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, he was he was definitely a leader on that front. Are you a fan of that kind of uh, that kind of poetry? I suppose beat poets, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I definitely went through a period of fascination with the beats and was aware of this particular story, the story of this murder. That kind of um, it's like a beat big bang. I think it was a creative catalyst for all these guys when it right. happened. But. Um, yeah, I definitely am. Poetry is such a difficult art form, I think. I, have, I, I really struggle with it. I, you know, unless the, it has Nantucket in it, I'm like, well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, some, I mean, the, the, like the big ones, the, yeah, you yeah. know, the Khalil Gibran's and the Shakespeare's and the, you know, and the Yates and all sure. that, I'm all right. But right. when it gets a little more obscure, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I like that. I mean, you can definitely read like a Ginsburg poem and see how the way he wrote influenced someone like Bob Dylan, who right. in turn influenced right. everyone else. Right. Um, so I think there's Leonard Cohen, perhaps. Sure, yeah. sure. He's Canadian. He's yeah. a little more, maybe... Pristine or concise, you know. Ooh, yes. Ginsburg is kind uh, of yeah, yeah. Of that was good. Goes. I felt slightly shamed there when you did that. Yeah, that's okay. I thought I was trying to join in, and then I went, "Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about here." Right. I'm out of my depth. Well, you know, that's just blind leading the blind, really. Really, I don't know much about poetry at all. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, surfing? Do you know anything about surfing? I, uh, I surfed once. Me too. Uh, the board was like almost as big as this stage. You yeah, know? I think that's like called being on a boat, boards. really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was yeah. a motor. Yeah, yeah, it's a motor. And, then and a cabin. we turned off the motor and there was a sail that we used. Was no, it, it that was a... that thing in Hawaii, at the beach in Hawaii? Was it... No, it was, it was in Malibu. I got up the first time. Right. And all the guys were like, whoa, dude, it was great. Yeah. And the rest of the day, I just... Yeah, I kept trying to down, drown. Yeah. All right, then. Well, surfing, surfing poetry. poetry. Um, ever been to Australia? I have. No way. Yeah, I went, I went there to do a press tour for Dexter. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. Actually, that bloke that keeps killing you from what he writes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I shot a promotional ad um, um, about uh, some place. It was for Dexter, and I was sitting in an airport, and a guy came in and he's like, are you Dexter? And I said, yeah, I'm t uh, taking a plane to Adelaide. Did you know that in Adelaide there are more serial killers per capita? Yeah. Per capita? And he's like, oh, really? You know, and then and I give the little smile, you know. <laughs> and they, they took it off the air. The people in Adelaide were scandalized about people <laughs> telling the truth. Well, actually, it does have a few serial killers. Yeah, they, I, yeah. they didn't want it out like that. Well, people would stop going to Adelaide, and it's the, exactly. it's the hub of Central Australian Or they'd be going there for the wrong reason. Oh, yeah. Well, you mean serial killers would go yeah. there? Yeah. Be like, yeah, oh, you maybe there's that. a yeah. support group. Let's I go to Adelaide. Into. Let's go to Adelaide. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the serial killer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a, they all do that. Yeah. 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 Oh, right. Put the loaves in the basket. Well, well, put the loaves in the basket. Person. Put your passport in your pocket. <laughs> let's go to Adelaide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like that idea. <laughs> Lotion in the basket, passport oh, in the... Yes, sir. Do you know who was here last night? It was uh, uh, John Ewan Esbo, who's a uh, uh, Scandinavian, Norwegian writer. He writes about serial killers. And I thought, mm -hmm. they seem to have a lot of them in Scandinavia as well. well or maybe it's, it's dark. just... dark. It's very dark, isn't it's it? It's cold and dark. You ever been there? No. I, I quit. I just have heard. I, li I like the idea of going there. I, I want to yeah. go there. I'm going to Canada next week. I wonder if that's anything like it. I'm sort of drawn to, I don't think it's cold there, but I don't know that they have the, like, full-on I think uh, parts of Canada, of I darkness. think if you go, yeah, if you go to yeah. northern Canada, but I'm going to Lethbridge, the jewel right. of central Canada. <laughs> because? Oh, I didn't stand up, you know, right. and also a bit of... Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, the, you know the places to go. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Adelaide and Lethbridge, uh, Alberta. Excuse me, could I... No. Excuse me, could I get in? Yeah. Let you right in. Yeah. <laughs> you should have done that in Dexter. Yeah, I know. The show would have been successful if, if I'd known it was that. the last season, I would have done it. No, you can't do that. You knew it was the last season. Yeah. Wasn't it your idea? That's it. I've, enough of the killing. More poetry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done with Harry's Code. <laughs> Michael C. Hall, uh, who was uh, just telling me he's never been to Scandinavia, so uh, no. so we're out of time. We'll be right back. Yeah, that's no. it.
Where have you been then? If you've, you've been to Australia, but you've never been to Scandinavia, and you've never been to Canada, you don't like Canadians. Is I've that been to saying? Canada. Oh, you have? No, I've been to Canada. I do like Canadians. My no, girlfriend's a Canadian. Is she really? Yeah. That must yeah. be nice. <laughs> well, she's bound to be, she's polite, clearly. And she's polite, polite, yeah. Um, and um, Canadian women are sexy. I, I agree. Yeah, no, they are. <laughs> I've noticed that. I went to Canada a couple of times. I was like, this is not what I expected at all. <laughs> I'm delighted to say. Is that why you're headed back? That's why I'm going back. No, no, no. I'm just no, 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 no. Where did you meet her, your girlfriend? I met her in a coffee shop here in Los Angeles. Really? Yeah. Were you pretending to write a screenplay? <laughs> no. I was actually having uh, coffee. I know. What kind of madman are you? <laughs> yeah. Was yeah. it was it a Starbucks? No, no, it was a, it was a uh, King's Road. Oh, I know that one. Yeah, you know good the, coffee. Yeah, it's good. And the, one of the waitresses there, I uh, used to. You could be on the show. Oh, really? Well, she, well, yeah, sort of. <laughs> she was a waitress no, there, here? and she had a band, uh -huh. and she said, "Can I be in your show?" And I said, "Yeah, all right." Yeah, yeah. And she came on, and uh, she did very well. Oh, good. Yeah, she still worked there. No, I think she's famous now. Her name was right. Celine Dion. I don't know why. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's yeah. Canadian. She's Canadian as well. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most Canadians, especially the singing ones, pass through King's Road Cafe. Well, yeah, that's a destination for the Canadian shown. Leonard Cohen hangs out there. Leonard, Leonard Cohen is very, very good, you know. I, I know I'm sticking my neck out here, but I'm a big no, fan of Leonard amazing. Cohen. Oh, I know. Sometimes I think, he's very dark for a Canadian, and then I forget that my stereotype of the Canadians is completely wrong. They are quite dark and literate. Yeah, they just don't lay it on you. This yeah, way. yeah, it's weird, right? Yeah. You kind of like, you buy this idea about Canadians, and then you see them, and they're like, oh, no, we're actually quite twisted and strange. Yeah, yeah, we just have, <laughs> we just have manners. Yeah, yeah, they've got manners. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. The dark manners of the Canadians. The dark manners of the Canadians. I like that. Yeah. I think we're, I think we're, we're heading somewhere with this. <laughs> we should go to a coffee shop and write a, a screenplay, The Dark Manners of the Canadians. Yeah. Well, you got your title. I mean, yeah, people yeah. will rush to see that. The dark manners of Canadians. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe we should take Canadians Coming out the title. Christmas put, Day. Yeah. Christmas Day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Dark Manners of Christmas. Mmm. Oh, that's there, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we really are out of time now. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you want a chocolate dollar, a smoke of the pipe, ding the bell, awkward pause, blow the mouth organ, or you can just, like, leave. I'll do the pipe. You want to do the pipe? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, correct. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid I've used this pipe, so I'll do the pipe. All right. Uh, Fair enough. I'll ask you a question as a therapist. Okay. Okay. Ready? Ready. <laughs> I'm going to ask you as a beat poet therapist about <laughs> So, Michael. Yeah. Have you ever been to Adelaide? Yeah, I went to Adelaide. I found a therapist there. I used to show up at his office wearing nothing but a pair of cellophane underwear. And every time he saw me, he looked at me, and all he'd ever say was, I can clearly see your nuts. <laughs>